Now that we know what the software is all about, let's talk about how to install it. There are three components to install, the server application, the client application, and the activation. So let's talk about how to install the server first. The server can be installed on the same computer as the client, but if you're working in a company where you have multiple users, you'll install this on a server. The software provides you with Microsoft SQL Express, which is a software application that is provided for use with six or less users. We recommend full Microsoft SQL Professional, which is purchased separately for large environments. So I'm going to go to the DVD media here and extract the setup. SolidWorks Electrical 2014 is unified with the SolidWorks Mechanical Design Software Installation Manager. So here I'm going to install the server application first, and it will then go ahead and present you with the available options. Here I want to go ahead and set the choices of the features to install. In this case, I'm going to install all three of the features. I'm going to make sure I'm setting this to the right computer and port number. Finally, I want to make sure I'm installing a SQL Server database to the machine that I wish to install it on. In this case, I'm installing everything locally and accepting the defaults. The thing you want to make sure of here is that the data location is something shared. If you're going to be using this with multiple people, you want to make sure that program data folder is installed in a place that everybody can access and it's shared on the network. In this case, I'm just creating an electrical data folder here on my local system and making sure it's shared to all the users that I think should need the software. Once we have that, we can go back to the summary page and install the software, which only takes a few moments to install the server-based options. Then we can go ahead and install the client. So we would install the same DVD media or download from the SOLIDWORKS website. We can also install it from a shared network location if you copy all the media to the network itself. So once again, you'll be presented with the SOLIDWORKS installation manager, and I'm going to choose an individual installation for this particular computer, including my SOLIDWORKS serial number, and if you only have electrical schematic software, you would choose the checkbox for that. In this case, I have SOLIDWORKS Electrical Professional, which bundles the mechanical and electrical design software together. For this case, I'm just going to uncheck the things that I'm not going to use for this particular installation. I'm going to make sure that SOLIDWORKS Electrical and the mechanical design software is installed, as well as eDrawings for viewing the schematics afterwards. I'm also just going to make sure I'm installing it to a place where I have enough disk space to install the application. And then, very importantly, I'm going to set the mechanical shared data location. Much like the electrical application, the mechanical files can be shared as well, like bolts, nuts, and screws, standard counterboard holes, and the like. So I'm creating a complementary mechanical data folder, which should also be shared as well. And finally, I'm going to check my electrical options here to make sure that they're set according to the server and they are set the way I want. This step takes about 30 to 40 minutes to perform the installation on a typical modern computer. A great thing to do here is to join the customer experience program, which is used to help improve the software. Now, to start the software the first time, you need to provide an activation to SOLIDWORKS. So there's a couple of caveats here that I just want to outline because I get these questions quite often in our customer support department, and I want you to avoid having the situation on your end. So the first time you launch SOLIDWORKS Electrical, if you don't choose to start SOLIDWORKS Mechanical the first time, and you have a shared mechanical and electrical application, you're going to get an error message. The first thing to do is to allow access through your firewall, but then you're going to get the error message saying that you can't find the license for the software. So once you go ahead and accept the license agreement, close the software, and launch the mechanical design software first. So the mechanical design software will know enough to launch the activation wizard and authenticate my SOLIDWORKS license so that it shows me the mechanical and electrical design software, which in this case on my system is one license. If you buy them as separate pieces, this would not happen to you. You would launch your mechanical software, activate that, and then you'd launch your electrical software and activate that. But in this case, I'm activating both pieces of software at the same time because it's one unified serial number. There are three different choices for licensing SOLIDWORKS Electrical, 
SolidWorks Electrical 3D, and SolidWorks Electrical Professional. And I have the professional version, which bundles the two. So I'll go ahead and activate my software for the first time. And here's my products that I am allowed to use based on my serial number.